Hey everybody, Paul Cram here. I wanted to talk a little bit about my experiences recently um, working on the film Imperfect Sky that filmed in Hollywood. I'd also give a quick shout out to a lot of the actors and the crew that I had worked with as well because um, I miss them. <laughs> uh, Blake Scott Lewis, lead actor. Sam Smith, another lead actor. Dion Lucas, he and I had a little bit of a fun scene together that you'll see when the movie's done. Angelina Prender. Gast, Prendergast, sorry if I'm pronouncing anybody's name, last name incorrectly because I don't know how to pronounce them all, but Angelina's totally awesome. Uh, Kay Darcy, she's, I'm, she and I are not in any scenes together, but she w she just made me smile. So, so, such a breath of fresh air on a set. Uh, Michael Guarnera, he and I have a really fun scene together as well. Michael had to uh, eat a lot of bacon in the scene and there's a reason that actors when you're filming a scene why you don't usually see actors eating and that's because you have to do take after take after take after take he actually said later he was like he's like i've ate more bacon in one day here on set than i've eaten in like a whole year um so yeah michael good to good to work with you the production people too i so miss them um you know graham streeter alex the Mike Scar, Paige Bryant, Elliot Aries. I think his last name is Aries. It's A R A R. I think it's Aries. Such wonderful, beautiful people um, to work with, and you know, Paige. <laughs> Paige let me do the. I mean, selfies with her over and over and over. <laughs> if there was actually like a button that I could push, you know, work with this actor, or work with this actor, or work with this actor. If this was Blake's button, I'd be like, but you know, I'd be totally pushing it. In particular, the day that we shot most of Russ's scenes, my my character's name is Russ, and I we, we shot at my house. Uh, I mean, not my literal house. We shot at Russ's house, and during that day, you know, it was mostly Blake and myself in uh, most of those scenes. And it was interesting, um, because we filmed in a bathroom. I hate shooting in bathrooms. Let me just put that out there because bathrooms are usually, when it's not on a studio, uh, you can't like move walls. So we were shooting in a real bathroom and the bathroom is about eight feet by eight feet, which is really small considering, you know, you've got a bathtub, a toilet, a sink, and then in front, you know, I'm in the bathtub, Blake is, is right by the bathtub, and we've got the director, you know, standing, operating the camera, and you also have, you know, the sound guy, Elliot, you know, standing in there with the, holding up the boom mic, and then on top of that, you have, you know, Mike Scar and Paige Bryant and Alan, you know, just coming and going and doing and, and making things happen. And, um, it's just, to be in that small of a space, after a while, it's just like, ah! It gets tense working in, in that tight of an environment. And I know that the director, Graham, Graham, you said yourself that you do not like shooting in bathrooms. You told me this multiple times. Yet, I think every movie that you've done, Graham, you have like a bathroom scene in it where you're shooting within this space. So I don't know if I believe you. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I actually believe that's a big part of why like for myself, like why I miss these people so much, you know, why I miss the director and why I miss, you know, chatting with Mike and, 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 and taking selfies with Paige and stuff is because it's like, gosh, these people, we all came together and we worked on something and, you know, those hard things, those moments where it's like, gosh, this is hard, you know, and we worked together through it and got through it and pushed through to the other side. It's like, oh, okay, then we're, we're because it's hard and because we kind of, made it through then it's like that camaraderie happens and that's just beautiful it's just beautiful and 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 i do have to say for blake again i'm going to stroke his ego if he watches this but um the, there were some moments on set you know when it was getting tense um for myself and and i was you know having some of those little bit of a frail actor ego thing where i'm just like ah am i doing this right am i you know it's all in this internal monologue and, and I think because Blake is a fellow actor that he can pick up on that a little bit. And, and you know, he started cracking some jokes here and there. And, and he even, you know, started to give me some positive affirmation, which is so nice. Um, and yeah, and, he, and there was a couple of antics that he did as well. Um, 
that were very, I don't think I'm going to share them because I'll just leave them at that. But there was a couple of really funny antics that he did that made me just hysterically laugh. And um, yeah, it was really appreciated. It was really good time, well timed and appreciated and, and it really lightened the mood. So thank you, Blake. And yeah, if this was the button, I'd be pushing it. Let's work together. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will happen. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I wanted to mention too about Sam Smith. Uh, I wanted to mention a little bit about how I think that he, I, he and I didn't act a ton. We had, we have a quick scene together in the film. Actually, we have two quick, quick scenes. Um, but to me, he looks like Superman. What do you guys think? Do you think he looks like Superman somewhat? Hopefully you see it. And I would love to work with him on like a superhero movie where he plays Superman and maybe I could play Loki. I would love to play Loki. I think that Loki is so cool and I want to be a villain anyways. So yeah, maybe that will happen at some point in time. Um, and if you're a comic book geek, comic lover, I'm sure you probably know, like, I don't think Superman and Loki actually exist in the same, like, world. I mean, other than they're superheroes, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I think there's, I don't think that they exist in the same world. It's kind of like, you know, Batman and Superman kind of don't really, and neither does Spider-Man and Superman. But anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. If you know the answer to that, do Loki and Superman exist in the same, like, comic book world? Uh, <laughs> let me know, because I would love to know. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like. And if you want to know more about the movie Imperfect Sky, you can go to imperfectsky.com. And I think you can find it on some social media outlets as well. Um, if you can't find those, you know, obviously jump onto my website and you'll, you can, you can follow me and, and you'll, obviously you'll get more information about the movie as it comes out. So, all right, everybody, we'll be in touch. Bye.